As part of its built-in security against cross-site scripting, Angular defaults to treating many values as unsafe. For example, given a simple component that we're looking at on screen here, we have a variable myURL. As you can see, it's set to a string that could be interpreted and executed as valid JavaScript if it was inserted into the DOM. However, if we were to use this string in an Angular setting within our DOM, as you can see us doing here, binding the href property of our anchor tag to the value of my URL. If we load this application up in the browser, you can see that clicking on this link actually does nothing. In fact, as I hover over the link, you can see that the tooltip at the bottom says that this link is unsafe. And you can see also in my console where Angular has detected this URL, determined that it looks unsafe, has sanitized it, and taken it to a point where it's no longer considered a threat. So this is Angular's default built-in security in the URL security context. Obviously, this by default security is desirable since it's not a stretch to see that it's really not a good idea to have values that can be coming from user input or external servers be injected into our app and be immediately executable. In our case, even though the JavaScript in our myURL variable is harmless, you can see where a more malicious script, if allowed to execute, can basically do whatever it wants. Now, all that said, in the event that we have a very good reason to want to bypass Angular's default security, we also have the ability to do that in our apps. Angular provides us with the DOM sanitizer that we can inject into our components, and that DOM sanitizer provides us with some methods we can use to bypass default security measures. As an example of using the DOM sanitizer, we've imported it here on line two, and so I'm going to update my code to create a new variable here that I'm calling my trusted URL. At the same time, I'm going to update my constructor to inject in an instance of the DOM sanitizer. And within the constructor's body, what we're going to do is initialize my trusted URL by calling the sanitizer's bypass security trust URL method and then passing in the URL that I would like to treat as safe. If I go ahead and save this now, we can jump over to our components template and update it to attempt to use our new presumably safe URL. Pasting that in below our unsafe URL, you can see we're doing exactly the same thing as before, just in the second instance here, we're using the variable my trusted URL. Saving everything, if we were to go back over to our browser now, once the application reloads, we have our two anchor links as before. The first is still unsafe and does nothing, but the second, now that we've bypassed Angular security, allows its JavaScript to run, and so we get that pop-up. So that's how that works. But again, before we wrap here, I'll point out that you really only should do this if you have a good reason to do so, and if you're certain that you're not potentially opening up a vulnerability in your Angular application.